Yeah, it was good, man. It wasn't, it wasn't as romantic as what you'd think, but um, it was good. I'm ready for war now, you know what I mean? I said it, I said it to him there and then. I said, there's no fear in my heart. I'm ready to go, so we'll see what it's about tomorrow. <laughs> That's basically what I said. I just said, um, you know, there's no fear in my heart and I'm ready to go and you just said we'll see about that so tune in that's when we'll see tomorrow you look a bit more relaxed today than, than probably the, the week leading up how are you feeling yeah look mate I, I think like I said these have all been really new experiences for me and I'm learning on the go but I'm taking it all in my stride so yesterday I was a bit full on I've seen all the cameras in my face but it's feeling a bit more familiar already man so I knock Gal off and I'll hopefully I'll see a lot more of this. What's uh, Craigie been like at the moment? Craigie will be buzzing, man. I'll tell you what, I'll be up and about tomorrow night, that's for sure, you know. For all the support back home, I'm, I'm so eternally grateful, you know, my friends, my family, and even I've heard there's a big um, Macedonia community in Newcastle that I hear, they tell me 5,000 feels like 50,000 in Newcastle. So hopefully, you know, a few of those Eastern European Balkans can get behind me and, and support me, and I'm looking to use that energy and put it through Gal. Chris, since the storm off, he's actually had a couple of nice things to say about you, and you shook hands just then. I mean, how how has the feud softened in the last 24 hours? Look, ultimately, I don't. Contrary to what some people say, I don't think he's too much of a bad guy. You know, I just think he's a serious competitor, and he and he likes to try and get a mental competitive edge over his over his opponents, but. You know, I see that, I recognise that, and um, and yeah, I'm just looking to get in there. There's no hard feelings, like I said. I've got no feelings towards Gal, good or bad. You know, I hope I get the win tomorrow night, and then we can shake hands and hopefully have a beer after it, you know? Like I said, for me, this is all respect, but I'm coming to fight and I'm coming to win. And what does it mean for you? Like, I mean, someone said yesterday that there's like a combined, I think, four losses on this entire card. What does it mean to you to be headlining such an impressive card? Yeah, mate, it's absolutely blown me away. Like I said, I feel like I've almost manifested this opportunity for myself, and it's still even even now just having a chat to you guys it feels surreal you know what I mean so um, I'm, I'm super super grateful there is immense talent on this card I think No Limit have done a really really great job showcasing what Australian boxing is all about hopefully um, we can get a show in September they're talking about coming down to Melbourne I, I think there's a lot of talent there that hasn't yet been discovered so for me to be able to have an opportunity to showcase what we're doing in Victoria on a big stage like this again I'm just so grateful Mate, Gail said that he's going to come in uh, a bit heavier uh, than his last fight. Do you think uh, you'll be too quick for him? Uh, yeah, I do think I'll be too quick for him. I think, you know, it's a great matchup. I think he only had a kilo on me there, you know what I mean? So I'm used to fighting blokes that have got 30 kilos on me in the heavyweight division. So, you know, it's going to be a close competitive fight and I'm just looking forward to giving him a boxing lesson. Yeah, no, no, I'm going. How are the nerves and how do you think you'll handle them tomorrow? Yeah, look, I think, you know, on a fight this type of magnitude, you're always going to get a little bit of nerves. I think we're, I wouldn't be human if I wasn't feeling a bit nervous. But I'm just looking to hone that, embrace that, and use that as positive energy in the ring. You know, like I said, if I can stay cool, calm, and composed, control my emotions, conquer myself, I'll put on a great show out there. I, I know I've got great skills, and I believe in my skills. It's just about, for me, controlling the moment. I do that, you guys are in for a really good show. The majority of your fights haven't gone the distance. Do you expect that to be the case again? Look, mate, he, he's super, super tough. I think uh, it, it, a lot of the times you knock someone out with a quick one-round knockout, they could call it a fluke or a lucky shot. But you put a beating on a man for 10 rounds, they don't want no, they don't want no part of that, you know? So whether it goes 10 rounds, I'm, I'm prepared for that, I'm prepared for that. But, you know, if I catch him, we don't get paid for overtime anymore. So, you know, hopefully I do get him out of there. Happy Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, thank you.